Yay, what's up world and welcome to a new edition of the Take One Spoiler Cast, which is being called for The Walking Dead, The Walking Dead Spoiler Cast. And um, I'm going to be talking about this episode, which is episode four, entitled Some Guy. And um, by the end of it, you realize why is it called that? Because I literally, before recording, like seconds before recording, really thought about it. I'm like, why is it called Some Guy? And I'm like, oh, yeah, because King Ezekiel called himself. It's just like, I'm just some guy, you know. So, um, yeah, it, it kind of, it makes sense. It makes sense. But in any case, let's get on with this, um, spoiler cast. I know it's a little bit late, just a little bit late. Um, but you know, it's, it's being dropped. What can I say? I mean, it is what it is. So this, uh, this episode, it starts off with, uh, King Ezekiel in the aftermath of the ambush, him like laying amongst the dead bodies of the like the 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 people who are part of his team that just got murdered and all the people that got murdered in saving him, so he walks around it and then as I'm watching it, I'm just like maybe he can just lay down there and you know if they gonna like check to see if like they're still alive, you know he can just pretend that he's dead amongst the dead bodies, but then I forgot this is the Walking Dead unless they got shot in the head. They're going to come back to life. So I'm like, as soon as that thought hit my, <laughs> as soon as that thought hit my brain, I'm like, okay, get your ass up out of that. Get, go, go. Like, like I, I forgot. This is the walking dead. Like, just get, get, get up out of there. Get up out of there. So like the worst position to be in. And then he hurt his leg. So, you know, it was, it was just kind of crazy. And um, for a minute, he mourns the death of, like, his men because he remembers back and telling, like, the people before he left because they had the flashbacks. And so he goes back and he tells the, you know, well, not goes back, but as it goes back, he tells the people before they leave out that, like, you know, that he smiles even though, you know, people are going to die. He still smiles, that he still has faith. And, you know, he, he gets the people riled up. He gets them hyped, you know. He gets, he... I, he ensures them that everything is going to be all right. That is everything is going to end out in their favor. So, and, um, you know, he, he mourns them because he, you know, he remembers that. And he remembers telling just the soldiers that before. And it's like the, the people die, you know, even he has said it before. He's like, not one person is going to die. Not one. We're not going to lose. Not one person doing this. And so, like at the end of the last episode that we see that they lost damn near everybody, you know, so it's 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 kind of a fucked up situation. And so with that, hell he starts to get chased by, you know, the walkers and then you get like one of the you know, his uh followers save him. Even though he told him that like, you know, like my leg is hurting, da 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 and all this stuff, but just go and he's like, No, you're my king, I'm about to take you And so they try and fight their way through it. And then he ends up finding himself being, um, he ends up finding himself being captured by one of the saviors as the saviors, as one, of, as the savior member, I guess, I guess you could call him Negan because he doesn't have a name. He is Negan. Uh, he, and he, uh, basically shoots the guy that saved, uh, the king or King Ezekiel. And so he captures him and he tries to use him to get what he need and get the fuck up out of there to get a car and all that stuff and this is just like a fucked up situation because if you watch this whole episode it's like it's just they literally should have named it save king ezekiel again and again and again because literally if you go throughout this whole episode this boy like he literally got saved three times three times count them three times the first time was like uh when like I said when he got when he woke up out of the after the aftermath and crawled out of the dead bodies and the zombies was getting him or the walkers were coming at him he got saved by one of his people he died and so uh we get this other guy that captured him and so he ends up getting saved by one of his people Jerry who 
literally chopped the shit out of him. And it's like, I, I, I knew, I knew that it was Jerry with the axe because we seen him with the axe. And then all of a sudden, blam, you know, he's like in half. So it's like, yeah, you know, yeah, Jerry, he, 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 he came in and saved the day. And he literally, like, he fucked him up. Like, he cut, like, through his body, and he just kept, bop, 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 bop. So, yeah, uh, I was down with that. I was like, yo, yo, Jerry, yo, he, he, he kind of got this. He kind of got this. And so, um, yeah, like I said, that's the second save. He gets saved again. So, a third save. A third motherfucking save is coming up. But before I even get to that, I'm going to talk about whatever hap what else happened up in here, which was uh, we found out. What Carol, what Carol was, because I remember just thinking, like, when I'm seeing the, the beginning of this, I'm like, what the hell is Carol? Like, she was amongst the um, group of King Ezekiel. All his people got gunned down, except for that one person who ended up getting killed, and then Jerry, who ended up, you know, helping him out at the last part. And then um, Carol was around, but yet she disappeared. Well, we found out where the hell she was. Her ass, her whole, her old maniacal uh, ass was literally saw her people get gunned down. So she went after the people. Now, it's so crazy. Like, it's so crazy. You literally could do a whole episode of a podcast talking about the evolution of Carol's character. Because if you remember, if you've been, if you've seen every single season of uh, uh, The Walking Dead, you will see that freaking Carol went from being a woman who got beat by her husband, who was scared of her own shadow, to just this freaking warrior. She's one of the people that is a part of Rick's group that they cannot afford to lose. And so, yeah, this 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 woman who was a scared person who got beat by her husband is marching into a building by herself to literally take on the people that shot down the, the kingdom people. And so she goes up in there. They uh, wrapping everything up, getting the, the guns and just her hiding up in the, 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 the ceiling and shooting down and gunning them down and basically, you know, just doing her thug dizzle. It was actually pretty cool. And even the scene after that, uh, from when she got outside and she followed them or whatever. And it was a shootout because they ended up seeing her, of course. Uh, and then how she tricked dude to come over there toward her and she put the knife on him and then... You know, the, the, the saviors that were there didn't care. So they ended up gunning him down just to gun her down. And so she ends up basically during that during all that chaos, end up pressing the uh what's the word I'm looking for? A coincidental button that opens up the gate right behind them to let in the coincidental or the 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 perfectly placed walkers. Which I kind of figured like that the walkers was going to have some type of play into this situation. Because if you remember just a little bit back, um, the walkers, it just showed the scene where the walkers were hearing the gun sounds. Because like you'll see the walkers walking, of course. Uh, <laughs> but you will hear the gun sound vaguely in the background. Like, do, 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 and all this stuff. So, you know, it wasn't like too, too far away. But you could tell that the walkers were at least a good little distance away but not too far away there was kind of i say relatively close but they were walking toward the gunshot so i knew that they were going to play a role within this scene and so what do you know carol finds the button opens up the gate and then the walkers start coming in and start attacking the people which leaves two people left and so she gets to the point where she um she got she got him she got the gun and so she basically is like okay yeah uh come on out whatever and so it's a standoff so carol like i said before this this woman who was a scared woman getting beat by her husband has two men like on just 
<laughs> she has two men pinned down to where she more than likely can kill them. That's crazy. Just to think of her arc. Just, it's nuts. And so, um, yeah. And so at this point, she see King Ezekiel and Jerry on the other side, on like the left of her, beyond the fence. And they're getting attacked by, you know, walkers. And they're defending themselves, but it's it's gonna it's a lot. So she has to make a decision. Does she go help King Ezekiel and Jerry, or do she stop these uh, uh, saviors from taking the guns that they were taking with the heavy duty guns back to the other saviors to where they can, you know, better defend themselves? So, of course, she chooses um, King Ezekiel and Jerry go help them out and she lets them go. And lo and behold, lo and motherfucking behold, they the saviors get away. But what do we hear? We hear a motorcycle. And the first thing that pops up into your mind. Rick, well, actually, it's just Daryl. I forgot that Rick and Daryl was together. But, you know, what pops up in your mind is Daryl. Daryl, the one with the uh, with the with the freaking motorcycle and daryl throughout the season he's done some amazing things <laughs> he's done some he's done some amazing things so you know that shit's about to go down so yeah we then after that we follow him and rick who follows the saviors that got away from carol and was trying to carry the big guns to you know the rest of the saviors after a little uh thing on the road they end up basically trapping them down and knocking them off the road. And so it was actually a pretty good scene. A pretty good scene. Even though they, the majority of the show, well, majority of this episode was uh, uh, Carol and King Ezekiel and, you know, their group. This one, yeah, bringing in Rick and Daryl, it, it didn't seem out of place. I actually kind of liked the transition. You know, how it went from them to, to tricking them and, you know, and then they eventually get the guns. And it's like, yo, yo, we got the guns. Let's go see if this, uh, if this guy's still alive. You know, it's actually pretty decent. Uh, I enjoyed it. And um, I think that's the end of it. Oh, no, we have one big major thing that did happen up in this um, episode. So, yeah, so King Ezekiel and the... Uh, the, the uh, uh Jerry and and Carol, they walk amongst the the woods and find themselves being trapped by you know walkers, and so King Ezekiel, this is the part where he breaks down and just all through the episode, even from like when he was captured, it's like he kind of knew the bullshit that uh King Ezekiel was uh spewing, he knew that you know he wasn't the king, he had people fooled and stuff like that. And so they kind of broke him down, had to, him to kind of realize that, like, yeah, you know, he's right. And so it brings him to his knees to where he's just saying that, like, he's not your king. Like, he's like, I'm not your king. I'm just some guy and all this stuff. And so you could tell that at that point he loses faith and he's just, you know, leave me here so y'all just go. And then out of nowhere, I mean, it, it was alluded to before. Where Shiva was, what well, like uh, when he asked where Shiva was, and he said, "Out of the whole confusion, we, you know, we lost her. We don't know." So we find out where Shiva was. She was just roaming around somewhere, but she comes out of nowhere in the day ex in Deus ex machina, and saves the day, which unfortunately she risked her life for King Ezekiel. And uh, and Carol and Jerry so that they can survive. And she basically fends off the walkers while ends up basically getting killed. And so that's the end of Shiva, which is actually pretty sad. You know, it's, it's like I thought because like when you think of King Ezekiel, you think of like, you know, just dreadlock having, you know, black guy who talks like he's straight out of Shakespeare who has a freaking tiger on his side like what type of badass shit is that and then all of a sudden like he he he's broken down you know as just this persona that he that he presented to everybody he's breaking down and then on top of that he loses shiva so uh where is this character gonna go from now on is he gonna show his true self or is he gonna keep up this charade of king ezekiel so 
I don't know. It's it's it's, it's kind of crazy. Um, just to see what happens going forward. But this episode, I did like. I did like. I know a lot of people are falling off with of the Walking Dead. Some episodes I can say, yeah, are just not good episodes throughout the whole series thus far. There's a lot of episodes where it's just talking, even though the talking got intense and, it, you know, it led up to something. It was just like, yo, this episode, yo, can I see a zombie or two or three or four? You know, can I see something like that? So, but, you know, I mean, so far this, this season has been interesting. It has been interesting. And we get from a glimpse of, like, next week episode that we're going to finally see what happens with uh, Negan in the trailer with, uh, man, what's his name? I know it starts with a J. God damn it. Ah, oh, fuck. But you guys know who I'm talking about. Uh, Gabriel. That's what, not J. Gabriel. So we're gonna find out what happens with uh, Negan and Gabriel in the trailer. In the trailer, then we're gonna find out what's happening with the Saviors. So that should be interesting. And um, once that happens, I will talk about it on the next episode of the the Walking Dead spoiler cast. And I'd like to thank you guys for listening. And um, I hope you guys check in for the other episodes as well. And uh, everything else I do on my channel, go ahead, hit that thumbs up if you like this video, which I hope you did. Nah, matter of fact, scratch that. I know you did. And um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on that notification bell so that you can be notified in, in, what, in which new things will drop on my channel. And uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.